Okay, a quick video about texture painting since I don't have much time this week. So we can just uh, paint this, uh, the cube, the default cube. That would be really cool. So just uh, delete the default cube, add a new one, and go into texture painting. Right here we can, we are in this tool panel and we can go to the texture and open texture we downloaded from let's say uh, textures.com or polyhaven or something else. I have this rock texture, I'll leave a link in the description. So now I have this uh, loaded up, we can go back. And now we can change this to from tiled to stencil and it will appear in our viewport. If we press the right mouse button, we can move it. Uh, shift mouse button shrinks and uh, scales it and control uh, rotates it. And this is a stencil, so you can just uh, move around the object and paint on it. But first, we need to add a material, of course, and an image texture, which we can draw on. So new, just call this tutorial, and we can make this a 2K texture. In the base color. And something I like to do is add a color ramp and connect it to the roughness. And then a bump. And connect it to the normal. So we can uh, basically just draw three different three different values with uh, just one texture. So now if we go back, and we have selected our tutorial image and we can just uh, texture paint on here. We can move around and the stencil will stay in the exact same place. Can just move around and then you can use different parts of the image and now that's all painted we can go back and just go into rendered mode and we can see our we can see our texture i would recommend making this a little bit rougher because it's a rock of course maybe change the strength uh, down a little bit And that's my rock cube. Leave a like, subscribe, and comment, and join my Discord. Go to my Gumroad. You know what to do, it's all in the description. So I'll see you next week.